How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Operation Life. I am Joshua Wells. In case you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We do a lot of how-tos, DIYs, uh, lots of adventures, lots of repairs here on the RV, lots of temporary repairs before we do the actual repair as well, which is what we're going to do today. So stick around. All right, well, thank you for sticking around, everyone. Today, we uh, uh, actually, I woke up this morning to Melissa saying we have a leak in our door. And what I found out was, was that this window is leaking water on the inside. Now, uh, we have a break in the weather today here in Tombstone. It is uh, supposed to be stormy and uh, lots of rain coming down here soon. So what we're gonna do is a temporary repair. And I do have a lot of caulking in the in uh, the RV that we could use, but I figured I would try this new product out uh, called Flex Glue. And uh, you know, Flex Glue it's supposed to be super strong uh, to for bonding items such as plastics or whatever. Uh, it instantly grabs and holds. It also works underwater. Now, <laughs> as you've seen in one of my previous videos, sometimes this stuff does not always stick to water like the uh, the flex tape supposedly does uh, so I wanted to wait for a break in the weather and being that that has happened I pulled out our chamois one of our chamois and I'm trying to squeeze out every little drop of set that down there every little drop of water on this thing now I'll get you a close up on this in just a second because it is pretty bad. Now, the uh, the person who supposedly repaired this thing last time obviously did a shitey job. Whenever you buy a used RV, make sure you thoroughly inspect it. Realize that you're gonna have lots of work to do over someone else's work because the odds are very good that they didn't know what the hell they were doing when they did it. And this is obvious. So if you are the person that we bought this RV from and you are currently watching, next time you do repairs, please learn how to do them properly so that I, I the, pre, the, uh, the new owner, don't have to redo your work that being said let's move on <laughs> so uh one thing i noticed was that when they did the repair on this window they obviously didn't do it correctly but they all they also tightened down the screws on the inside way too tight and the way i'm able to tell that is these two cracks one here and one here right on the edges and as you can tell every time i press in there I'm not sure if you can see this, but water oozes out of these cracks every single time. Let me see if I can get you a closer look. Give me just a second, get you off the tripod here. All right, so there's a crack right here. Is that focusing? That is starting to focus. So this crack right here, whenever I press on it, you can kind of see some of the liquid coming out and the moisture. Then there's another one over here on this side and it is doing the same thing. Also right up here, I could probably put my knife in. There's, you know, the water's puddling up in there. It's seeping in through the cracks here on each side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this flex glue, put it down here at the baseline and fill up these cracks uh, just as a temporary fix. Now, this is not going to be permanent, so don't rag on me too hard. I just want to make sure that we can get through the next couple days because we're going to order an entirely new window assembly, a much better one and a much nicer one, and we're going to have it installed properly. I mean, you can see whatever they use down here is not proper. None of this stuff is supposed to be seeping out of the edges here. I mean, whoever installed this window just did a horrible job just a horrible job so we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a temporary fix like I said and then we're gonna correct the issue as soon as the new part shows up and uh, we'll go ahead and show you that as well when it does show up so oh, sorry about that let me uh, put you back on the tripod and I will go ahead and get to work here give you a nice little zoom up look there now it is all dried off with the chamois so that is going to help us 
and I want a really small narrow cut on this where did my knife go well it's right there in my pocket where I left it <laughs> all right so there are lines on this thing if you can see it there's a line right here telling you to cut there and then there's a big slice line right here we're not going to do such an angle we want to be a little bit less than that because I don't want a huge bead all the way around this thing plus I have no idea what color this stuff is so we're all gonna find that out together so that's the angle that I took and as you can tell here it still has a pretty decent size opening and uh, we should be good to go here now doing this you know you, some safety gear you know I don't know if you really want to use it gloves or whatnot but you definitely want to clean out your areas and uh, so this stuff that's coming out I should really be using my my little five and one painters tool or scraper for this but uh, I left it inside and well the weather's coming so I'm just trying to get this thing done as quickly as possible and whenever you're filming anything it always takes longer <laughs> you know and every time I go to film something to show you guys it takes about three times the amount of time because I've got to set up the camera and everything else so let's we'll see what we can get this stuff to ooze out here there it goes it is white it is nice and white. Holy sweet mother of pearl, it is white. So this is gonna look really ugly, but you know, it's just, like I said, it's temporary. So we just wanna get it, try and put on here a nice even bead. And uh, you know, with the caulking gun, it would have been much easier, actually, now that I'm doing this. <laughs> and you can see right here, it lifted off, so I'm going to do a little trick I learned in the construction industry. Wet your finger, and rub it down. It doesn't seem to be working like it does with caulking. You don't want to go multiple directions either. You want to stay in one direction if you do do this. And the worst part is, is that uh, that trick I learned, the construction industry is not <laughs> working out with this uh, flex glue. So we're gonna keep my finger. Come on. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the cracks here this one done we're just going on top of these things you know like I said this is just a temporary repair just to get us through the next couple days until our new window shows up once that arrives we'll go ahead and completely replace this thing but uh, until then we got to make sure that no more damage is done to the door right so As much as I'm liking this flex glue, I don't like how it is not very easy to get out. Um, also, did it say that it was white on the package? Clings to surfaces, super thick formula. Excellent for home and garden, automotive and marine use, boats, RVs and trailers, maintenance, repairs, construction, plumbing and electrical. DIY projects, oh, look at that, DIY projects, and hobbies, and so much more. Well, it does not tell you what color it is, so that was kind of a bummer, not knowing. I mean, if, the, if I knew this stuff was black, I'd be using it all over this window, but look, it looks like there's some sort of uh, glue or adhesive that's in this thing already. I'm trying to keep it clean. Now, as you can tell, usually that trick that I did, you know, when you wet your finger and you wipe the caulking, it doesn't get all over you like this stuff does. So, uh, yeah, this stuff's a lot different. And uh, I'm going to open the door real quick and ask Melissa for a uh, <laughs> paper towel. Hold on. 
Can you hand me some paper towel, please? Yeah. <laughs> you want the whole roll or do you want it? Just a, just a piece. A couple pieces. Thank you very much, gorgeous. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So, we'll get this stuff off. It looks like it comes off a lot easier than caulking, so that's nice. Let me try this trick one more time. Now, it does look really bad having this uh, stuff on a black surface. But, uh, like I said, it is temporary. And Melissa should be inside, probably ordering that window as I speak. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit wet right here on the side. Don't see any moisture coming out. Don't see any moisture coming out over here. So this is where I'm pretty sure the leak uh, was. I mean, with the two cracks in the actual frame and uh, it being pretty good gapped right there, I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, just everything on here is just so brittle and nasty. Let me show you this one more time. I'm gonna pull you off the tripod here again. So this is what we've got. Oh, it looks like there's a spot. Oh, okay. So that right there is flex glue on plastic and plexiglass. So we've got the cracks covered up and we're turning up the edges here. And you can see some of the moisture on the side right there. And I think that'll be okay. I don't think it's coming in from the sides. Um, the next rain will tell, but as you can see, whoever did the work on this window did an absolute wretched, just wretched job. I mean, I've seen some pretty bad repairs before. I'm gonna zoom you out. I've seen some pretty bad repairs before, but uh, this takes the cake. I mean, whoever repair, did the repairs on this RV just had absolutely no idea what the hell they were doing. So, that uh, I'm gonna put you guys back here on the tripod, give me just a second. Let this be a lesson <laughs> to not only obviously myself, but uh, everyone that's watching this as well. Whenever you purchase a used RV, be sure to anticipate repairing poor repairs. Uh, unfortunately, this is just gonna go with the territory. When you have an RV, you're gonna have to repair things all the time anyways. It just comes with the territory. I mean, I could keep repeating that like a broken record. It just comes with the territory. Uh, <laughs> we are, uh, I'm very thankful though that the repairs on the roof held up uh, that you saw me do with the flex tape on a previous video. Uh, our repairs on the uh, the vent stove or the vent for the stove on the exterior opposite side of the RV that has held up tremendously and uh, it's because we're doing the proper repairs uh, yeah we do temporary rep repairs until we can actually go ahead and get the right parts to do the correct repair so when you are repairing your RV be sure to make sure <laughs> be sure to make sure that you do it properly do the research if you're going to do it yourself or uh, you know if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comments below maybe i can talk you through it um, i was a roofer commercial roofer for over seven years i've been in construction uh, on and off for five to ten years so i i know how to do a lot of this stuff and when i don't i ask questions myself so uh, if you do have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments below and uh, I'll do my best to walk you through it or, or answer them, whatever the case may be. But uh, until next time, I appreciate you all for watching. Thanks for watching and have a great day. It is pouring rain out here in Tombstone, Arizona. And I am just really glad that we got the flex glue on the window because right now we are definitely putting it to the test. So we were having water coming down behind our reflectix and running down the wall right here in the center of the door. And 
as you can see, there's no water. Putting things to the test, aren't we, hon? Uh-huh. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll look for my GoPro Hero 7 White, since it's waterproof, and uh, see if we can go film the water hitting down on the flex glue and see how it's holding up. I'm gonna definitely grab a jacket first, too, so hold on. Wow. It's pouring. When it, it rains, it pours out here in Tombstone. What's this awesome? Is crazy. This yeah. fix is still dry. Nice. So the flex tape right there is actually on the lower portion of the window, and it is still holding up absolutely wonderfully. That was a great idea getting that flex tape. Yeah. All right, let's go outside and see how everything's holding up. Oh, this is going to suck. Oh, God. Wow, it's coming down. Okay, here's the flex glue. Looks like it's holding up just fine. I mean, we're not getting any water on the inside, but it is dumping rain out here. And hail, thunder. Oh, yeah. Hail's bouncing off of me. I don't know if you can see it right there. Hail and tombstone. And the flex glue seems to be holding up pretty good. Whoa. Oh, yeah. We got thunderstorms out here. All right, I'm going back inside, guys. I'm getting soaked. Absolutely soaked. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Get it all purdy, right? Purdy. <laughs> Take two. Whoa, whoa. Swashbuckle! I can do this. How's the beard look? Does the beard look all right? There's a subscribe button over here. You see this playlist link right here? You this, this box, right? Somewhere right here. Go ahead and click that for more RV videos. I don't know if that's gonna work. Give us a click over here on the left hand to subscribe to the channel. We'd appreciate it. Have a great day. It is really your choice. And I love you. Just roll with it.